Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's special theme scroll saw project video, we have a nice theme project to celebrate Shark Week. Shark Week here in America starts its 32nd season this coming Sunday, August 9th, on the Discovery Channel. It's a week of television that I really look forward to. I always love seeing the celebrity interactions and raising awareness for sharks. Sharks are one of my favorite creatures. I've got on my Jaws shirt for this video. And the project is a Steve Good design, and it has the word Shark Week in it, or the words Shark Week in it, and it's a really great pattern. We're going to be using quarter inch material, and as per the course of what I usually do, we're going to go in and stack cut and make two at a time and finish one of them in this video. Again, great design by Steve Good. I'm getting ready to go over and drill the pilot holes, and then we're going to attach the piece once it's scrolled out to a backer board. This is half inch MDF material which was painted blue. This was cut out off camera using number five blades. I just wanted to save some time filming with the painting and drying process. But right now, let's head over to the drill press, drill all of our pilot holes, and get started. And over here on the drill press, we are going to begin by drilling all of our pilot holes for internal cutting and then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling beginning with some of the smaller interior cuts first like in the letters and then down at the bottom of the piece with the coral I'm going to get all those cuts out of the way first always try to go from your smallest inside cuts to the biggest inside cuts I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades and how cool is that to use shark tooth blades to cut out a shark theme project thought that was really neat and even though I am stack cutting one quarter inch material and essentially cutting out a total of half inch thickness here the number five blade is going through the wood like butter and I'm not forcing the blade through the wood I'm just letting the blade do the work and guiding it through if you guys would like to try this pattern it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Goods scroll saw workshop blogspot.com website over in the free pattern catalog if you guys would like to head over there and do this pattern for shark week now I am on the final interior cut and I always try to save the biggest interior cut for last before I do the final cut you saw me there cutting out the shark's teeth again just guiding the blade through the wood I'm not forcing it just letting it do its job get done with this cut we will begin the final outside cut which will release the piece from the wood and with stack cutting I always like to start with a pilot hole for the final cut it just gives the wood more stability while you're making that final cut If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate that. Almost done with the cutting here and we will move on to finishing and we will finish just one of these in the video 
but I will have two of these projects in total. So that's also real cool. Coming along here on the final detail and back around the S and shark and I will go on and come through to the outside of the wood and the cutting will be done and over here on the workbench we're removing the piece from the waste wood and getting ready for sanding and I am using 100 grit sandpaper and my palm sander and using small circular motions to do all of the sanding and then over on the workbench I will use some finer 220 grit sandpaper to get in some of the smaller nooks and crannies that the palm sander missed use Gorilla Wood Glue to attach the piece to the backer board. And I'm using basic spring clamps and strips of wood and the strips of wood help give pressure to the detail that's toward the middle of the piece and I let that dry around an hour and I came back and removed the clamps and the strips of wood and it was a beautiful sunny day so I took the piece outside and gave it three coats of clear polyurethane clear coat finish and then I let that dry out in the sun for a couple hours and the project was complete And here we have the completed shark week piece. I think it turned out real good. Quarter inch plywood scrolls exceptionally well over on the scroll saw with those number five blades. All in all, the scroll work for what I showed you today on camera was around 35 minutes. So it didn't take long at all to cut out if you're familiar with a scroll saw. Great little project to celebrate shark week. Thank you Steve Good for another amazing design. All that's left to do is add a sawtooth hanger on the back and hang it up somewhere in the house and I can get ready to celebrate Shark Week which starts August 9th which is this Sunday on the Discovery Channel here in America. I really look forward to that television series coming back year after year. I believe this is the 32nd season and I always learn a lot of new stuff and interesting facts about sharks and I love the celebrity involvement with sharks bringing awareness to the species and all. But all in all, great project. I had fun making it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it. I hope you all have a happy and safe Shark Week. I hope you all have a safe time in general. And remember, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.